Okay, so how much meat goes into a freezer when you grow or buy a pig? In this video, we're gonna break down exactly that. We're gonna break down how much meat we got from the pigs that we raised, and hopefully that's going to help you figure out how many pigs you need to get. We raised three Hampshire, Yorkshire cross pigs this year. The Yorkshire pigs are the typical pig that you can imagine if you think of a Disney movie or if you've never actually seen a pig before, that's what a pig looks like. The Yorkshire is the most common pig found in North America and they're known for their lean meat, low back fat, and overall durability as livestock. The Yorkshire pig was the mom or the sow for our piglets. Hampshire is also very popular, known for high quality meat, minimum back fat, and large loin eyes. So the back straps are nice, big, and round. And obviously the father was the Hampshire or the sire, or I think in, in pig farm language, it's the boar, that's what he's called, all right? So the dad was a, was a Hampshire, the mama was a Yorkshire, we got Hampshire, Yorkshire crosses. Do you have pigs? Do you want pigs? If so, how many do you have and what kind are they? Or if you're gonna get them, what kind of pigs do you want and why? Why do you have those pigs or why do you want those pigs? Let us know, we'd love to hear it, I'd love to hear it. Um, talk, talk to folks down in the comments and let us know what kind of pigs you're going to get or which ones you have already. Now, we didn't know any of those facts about these pigs when we got them. We just knew that we wanted pigs that were going to um, get mature in six to seven-ish months because we didn't want to have pigs in the wintertime. We wanted to get them in the spring and harvest them in the fall so that we only had pigs uh, for one, one summer season. Yep, we got them Memorial Day weekend, they were a month old then, and we've slaughtered them right before Thanksgiving holiday. So we took the pig somewhere, we didn't butcher them on farm, but I made a quick video about it and I'll put that link in the description for you. So we'll do the financing on this endeavor in another video. Now we're just gonna talk about the meat yield and what we got from our pigs. So we got three pigs, we raised three pigs, but we only kept one and a half of them because we sold one and a half of them to friends of ours. They weighed 600 pounds collectively together because when I brought them to the processing facility, they put them on a big scale and so they weighed 600 pounds. Now, we know that we had a large one, a medium one, and a small one. And so we didn't know which one was which, but we knew that average they were weighing about 200 pounds. But like I said, we had a large, medium, and small. When I called the butcher to tell them what we wanted done with the pigs, I made sure to tell them that the Rizzas want the big pig. <laughs> so we got the big pig and we got half of, I, I didn't care which half we got of the other of the other one, or which pig we got of the other half, but we, want, we wanted to get the big half, the big pig full. And we got that one and we ended up with the smallest pig half. The hanging weight of the pigs, which is the weight that uh, the pig is after it's killed, bled out, gutted, and its head removed was 167, 137, and 120, or large, medium, small. So that means our hanging weight, the 167 of the large pig and half of the 120 of the small pig came out to 227 pounds. That was our hanging weight. Now, that's not what we ended up with in our freezer, right? So a, ham, a pig has two hams in the back. The front legs are called the pork butt, and that's where the roasts are, the roasts come from. Where people make pulled pork, they make them from the pork butt, which is the front of the pig. In the pork butt, you've usually got two to three cuts, two to three roasts on each side. Pigs have ribs, and of course they've got the bellies, which is where the delicious bacon comes from. And then after that, the only other thing that's left, typically from a butcher when someone brings their pig in, is the loins, which is where your pork chops come from. They run down along the back of the pig, one on each side and they're either sliced up as chops with or without the bone or they're cut into large roasts usually two to three roasts per backstrap depending how big they are okay so here's our breakdown we ended up with 15 pounds of bacon and it is delicious I, I am happy with that three hams obviously right a pig and a half and they are about 10 pounds 10 to 15 pounds a piece so we got 35 ish pounds of ham we got these fillets i don't know what the fillets are so if anybody knows what the fillet is please let us know We've got um, just two packages of filet. I don't know what that is. It's not the pork, maybe it's from the pork wine. I'm not sure. We got 10 pounds of ribs. We got hog maw, which I'm also not exactly sure what that is. I think it's the belly because there's three small packages and that's what I think it is. I think it's their stomachs and I think we can put food in it and make a dish called a hog maw with you know, sausage and potatoes and carrots or whatever. I'm not really sure exactly. So if anybody knows what the hog maw is, please let us know sausage we got lots of sausage we got um, 27 pounds of grillers which are links and 30 pounds of loose now 
the pork loins, we have three loins, right? So we got uh, two of them in chops. So we got 10 pounds of chops. And then we got, I think, five pounds, six pounds. Six pounds of roasts. And then the pork butt, we had three shoulders, right? So pork butt, we got 20 pounds of them that came into five different roasts. All right, so that means we got a total of 159 pounds in our freezer of meat, which is awesome. And that came from 227 pounds of hanging weight and roughly about 300 pounds of a live weight. So 159 pounds of meat out of 227 pounds of hanging weight is about a 70% yield, which isn't bad, I think. Now we probably would get more if we butchered on our homestead here, uh, but again, that's just a whole day's worth of work, so you have to weigh it out, right? So we take it to the butcher and then we don't have to sit at home and chop up pigs all day. But in all honesty, if it was my own pig and I'm sitting in my backyard, I'm gonna make sure I get all the meat off the bones. Whereas if I was a butcher in a butcher shop, knowing that I got to get through 20 pigs before I go home, I might not be as meticulous. Do any of you butcher your own hogs on, on farm? If you do, let us know, because that'd be really interesting to hear. Uh, we might do it next year. We, you know, we've talked about doing it this year, but my wife and I weren't ready for that. We did do chickens, and we'll talk about that soon too, but um, we didn't do a pig this year, and we might do it next year. We shall see. But if you did, if you did butcher a pig, or you're going to butcher a pig, let us know down below. Okay, so you can really start getting some dividends when you decide to leave the butcher shop behind and do it at home. So let's talk about some of that. So I, I mentioned before, you can get more yield out of your out of your animal, right? Because you're, you might spend more time cutting off all the meat than the butcher would. Obviously, that makes sense. But you also might get more um, product because the butcher might just get rid of something and then that you would want to keep, right? So we typically, no one typically gets lungs, for example, from back from the butcher. But I got chickens that would have loved to eat those lungs. But if we and if we killed them in our backyard, we'd be able to hand them right to them. Our food inspectors or the food the food police right from the USDA, USDA they took a look at our, our pigs livers and said they're bad they gotta go and I don't know what happened I don't know why uh, I can't imagine what would have gotten into these pigs I mean they've they're living in the backyard they're free ranging we moved them around they had lots of acorns and nuts they were not uh, they were not on their own filth they were totally happy pigs they're probably the happiest pigs in the county but the inspector said we couldn't have the livers and so we couldn't have them now, if we butchered them in our backyard, I'm sure those livers looked fine. <laughs> right, maybe they didn't, but if they didn't, I want to be the one who throws them away, right? And odds are I'll just give them to the chickens because they would love them. But you give up that right when you don't take them, when you don't take care of your animal yourself. I, I personally would rather have my food without the USDA sticker. I trust a farmer who raises their own animal and has highly vested in his, his, his customers getting something of value and safe and secure to eat than an inspector whose job it is to check off a to look through a checklist. We did get lucky though. We got three hearts and we got six kidneys. <laughs> I think we got six kidneys. I'm not sure exactly how many we got back, but we got uh, we got several kidneys back. And the folks that we went in with and sold half these pigs to did not care for any of their organ meat or any of their bones for that matter or the skin of the pigs for that matter. So we ended up with 40 pounds of bones, which we made over 12 gallons of pork broth with. It is delicious golden pork broth. It's awesome. So we're doing pork broth um, today, among other things. Perhaps. Here we got uh, 10 pounds. I can't see. Got 10 pounds of bones in this big old crock pot, and that's the mirepoix that's going to go in that. Over here we got 10 pounds of bones in here, and five pounds of bones in each of those pots. We roasted two of these pots worth of bones and the other bones we did not roast. Uh, I think the roasted broth bones are gonna be better and we're gonna have soups all we can, all winter long from that broth. It's gonna be, it's real, we're really happy about that. We also got all of the fat from the pigs. So I think it's called leaf fat. It really actually wasn't a whole lot of fat. <laughs> How much do you think? 10 pounds. Five, pounds, five pounds, four ounces. Five pounds, four ounces. Five pounds of, fat and three pigs. Either the butcher shysted us or <laughs> Shysty we us. <laughs> didn't grow fat enough pigs. Or maybe next time we'll get a guinea hog that's full of lard or something. All right. We'll see. I'm All right. Add. And we rendered that down into lard and we ended up with six pounds of lard rendered in the fridge right now. And I cannot wait to, if y'all don't use lard, you need to get back on the lard train. Throw the Crisco out, throw the vegetable oil out, get yourself some some pasture raised, rotated, um, either beef tallow, duck fat, um, pork lard, and start cooking with that because it is better for you. It is what your grandparents used to use. 
and it is delicious. <laughs> so I cannot wait to take our pasture raised chickens and make some buttermilk fried chicken with the raw milk we get from Pennsylvania and then deep fry them suckers in this homegrown lard that we grew on the homestead here. It's gonna taste so good. So thanks for watching the video. If you found this informative at all, uh, please give us a like and make leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz, you know. If you know someone that might be wanting to raise pigs, please you know, share this video with them. Any or all those things would be greatly appreciated. And you know, leave us a note in the comments. What other kind of videos are you interested in learning about? What um, other topics do you want to, do you want discussed? Let us know in the comments, leave a question, and we will hook you up. So until next time, take care and keep it easy. Oh, and check out this Pigs for Everyone. Pigs for Everyone. Go ahead and I'll leave a link below. Go and buy this shirt because we want to see Rebecca Rhodes milking a cow in the cold, cold January day. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Hello. Hello. Now, here, that's right. Thank you for watching. Okay, so now we're recording. Got the audio, got the D70D rocking, got my script up here.